this is the other part where it's just bad writing. He, if he's technically on the run, if he's on the lam, right, to use a mob term, why would he stay in L.A.? The place where he grew up, the place where like multiple people would know him and recognize him. Including Kate Brewster. I have in my notes here, I have some ideas about where he could have gone. Literally anywhere. He could have gone. I have some suggestions here. Idaho, New York City, Texas, Atlanta, Hawaii, Alaska, Colorado, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Chicago, Florida. You see where I'm going with this? Canada. Hell, he, North. he could have gone outside the United States. But no, he chose to stay in Los Angeles where <laughs> the they make most movies. Populated cities on the planet. Yeah, I guess that now that I, I think just, about it, they didn't really touch on that. Like why why did he stay in LA for twelve years living off the grid I, as a It's a bad addict? script, Pete. It's a bad script. Yeah, I just I never bought that he would become this badass messiah who would lead the resistance against the machines. There's not a single moment in the film that he that indicates he has any kind of leadership material. Yeah, agreed. It wasn't when he was at the command center at the dawn of judgment day. No, no, dear God, no. But just I get to a few more lines till we get to that point in the story. I have some okay. very very harsh words for John Connor. I don't know how to work this thing, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's it's very clear it didn't feel earned right no, yeah no. agreed 